there's a whole romance that happens between plants and pollinators. They need each other. Beekeepers in general, what they do is really not very celebrated. They do the hard work to make sure that we have healthy foods to eat. Sustainability is really important in the honey industry. It's not just about honey. When you're talking about a third of our diet that depends on honeybees for pollination, I mean, what could be bigger than that? It supported my wife's family and my family for, you know, three generations. We rely heavily on our neighbors to allow us to place bees on their property. It's this relationship that allows us to live and work in this beautiful place that we love. My family's been in the bee business for almost 100 years. I was out when I was six years old with my dad looking at bees and learning beekeeping. Being out here on the land and witnessing this natural wonder every day is, is just something beyond what I can describe. People think there's mystery about what's killing bees, but really we know the main threats. Even the people that have been doing it for generations and done everything right for so long are seeing really devastating failures. You have varroa mites, you have viruses, you have habitat loss and pesticide exposures, and it's never been harder to keep healthy bees. We have to be a, a good steward and we have to keep our eyes open because if we miss a cue, it can cost those bees not only the season, but their hive can die. Everybody should care because in essence, what we're doing here benefits everybody and everybody depends on these bees and this process. Habitat is the most important, the foundational principle in bee health. We're just like farmers in that respect. We rely on the land for our living. If you can get good habitat on the ground, good opportunities for good nutrition for the bees, then you have a much better chance at getting past all of the other stressors, producing a crop of honey, and ultimately doing the pollination work as well. I think there's hope. We're finding solutions and learning so much about the problems with honeybees. We can adjust our management and we can start changing how we support bees. We just have to keep at it. Honey is so special. Each bee will only produce maybe a twelfth of a teaspoon in her whole lifetime. When you think about that teaspoon of honey that you're about to eat, that is the labor of thousands of bees. Producing honey is, is not just a craft, it's actually an art. It is really something that we learn over time. The bees can help us through, and when you finally succeed and you produce that fine crop, it's really rewarding. The honey that we produce is really nice, light color, good flavor. We're pretty proud of that. We try and base a lot of the decisions that we make on a good product. We've been able to raise our kids in a small community and, and a community that supports us. Just to be there for our kids and our families, that's really important for me. When you buy honey, you're supporting a beekeeper directly. And indirectly, you're supporting their ability to keep healthy bees. And healthy bees are connected to our ecosystems and to our food supply. So you're investing in a lot more than just beekeeping.